when Sipamandla Matabata ran to seek protection from her two attackers who were kicking, stoning and trampling on her. Little did she think that leaving the mask at the scene of the crime would be her biggest mistake. She went to the police station to open an assault case against her partner and his friend, only to be assaulted again, allegedly by a police officer. He pushes me out and asks me, where's your mask? But he doesn't even give me like a chance to actually explain to him why I don't have a mask. He's just screaming, where's your mask? Where's your mask? He grabbed me by my gown and threw me to the ground. So I stood up, obviously, I was cussing because I was emotional and I could not believe that I just experienced trauma and I'm walking into another assault attack. The 26-year-old says no one at the police station showed sympathy during the alleged assault. When this man was manhandling me and mistreating me, the staff members that were inside, they were laughing. They had remarks. They did not seem bothered. Not one of them felt the need to say, no, but you can't do that. Matabata views what happened to her as an act of transphobia. I feel let down. I don't want to lie. I've been violated many times, but I've never really reported it. And the first day that I decided to take a stand, I experienced the same thing at a place where I feel like should be a safe haven for Everyone, in fact. The Independent Police Investigative Directorate says it will be in touch with Matabata as the complaint against the said officer is receiving the necessary attention. Nerea Lakutza, SABC News, Kimberley.